Welcome to the Daily Guidance Meditation Podcast with the Realized Master. These meditation talks were recorded during intensive spiritual retreats with Sadhguru Siriyaji. Therefore, they might contain some specific teachings and wisdom for life to be taken into consideration. Each recording begins with a mantra to bring you into a favorable condition for the inner journey. This initial mantra is followed by a brief talk in which the process of meditation is explained to you. After the talk, keep meditating at least for 15 minutes and if you like it, continue, increasing the time by and by as you proceed. So now you are left with nothing else to do but close your eyes, relax, listen and let meditation happen. Satnam 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 Radasu Ami Radasu So Radha so Nothing good 
it all. This is your immense gift. I will be eternally grateful to you for giving me such a boon. So gratitude on the spiritual path towards the master with whom we experience all the good things that we do experience. It is so important. Gratitude towards God for the grace He grants to us. It is so very important. Talk so much about getting rid of this sense of I, this egoism. Masters emphasize it a lot because <coughs> the process of uh, Liberation is just the opposite. It's becoming aware that uh, not I, but God is the reality. So nothing is done by me, nothing is done by us. Everything just happens. The power that moves this planet Earth, this solar system, this galaxy, this universe, moves also all the events in our life. Nothing is out of his control. So everything is done by this supreme power, we do nothing. The thing is, despite the realities that is, from our own perspective, from our own point of view, we can make things better or worse according to which is the level of consciousness we are in which is the level of reality we relate to this reality is immense we can relate to the most dark condition to the most bright luminous um, blissful. So it's very important to where we connect in life. It's like the earth. It has all possible substances. And if she plants, sucks from the earth certain substances and makes the flavor of the plant, it nutrients and so forth, what they are. So also life is like the earth. There are all possibilities. It depends on us, on what we connect with. So for this we have to try our best to always Stay in the good company, do the right practice, the right things that go to elevate, uplift our level of awareness. Our level of consciousness.
And the more we get close to the light, the more we are entering into space, which is so over blissful, so over protected, so positive, so beautiful. The more we go far from this, the more we bring into our life for possible troubles. So we must be very careful. Although everything is done by him, we must also do our part. That's a paradox again of life. We do nothing, but we do everything. So it's possible. Either we do nothing or we do uh, everything. It's possible. It is what it is. It's the question of free will. From one point of view there is no free will. From the other point of view there is a free will. We can choose. We have to choose. Master talk about three kinds of karma. Kriya man karma. Pralabda karma and Sanchi karma. Sanchi karma is the storehouse of karma which is what we have gathered <coughs> in all of our existences. And it is there, it is what it is. Pralabda karma is the destiny karma of this lifetime. And it also has been selected. It will happen the way it is meant to happen. And Kriya Karma is that karma which we perform continuously, moment by moment. We cannot change the Sanchi Karma, we cannot change the Pralabha Karma, but we can change the Kriya Karma. On this we can act. So moment by moment we have to try to always stick to what's divine, what is good, what is positive, what's compassionate, what's love, beauty and to refuse with all our efforts what is cause of suffering for ourselves and others. So this means acquiring self-control. Over our physical and mental faculties and for this again, meditation is so important. It's a practice that we have to perform day by day, moment by moment, by and by. Make it a continuous something that continuously we direct our thoughts, we direct our choices in life. We develop this wisdom. a constant watch over our mental activities, over the thoughts that we allow to come in. We should be always, always be at the gate, let's say, up on top of our head and uh, let enter those thoughts which are cause of well-being and refuse those which are cause of suffering. especially when we sit in meditation we have to do this refuse any thoughts refuse thinking altogether stay in the center keep looking and looking keep repeating and repeating So let's try our best to be well focused, concentrated, stay in the center, be these holy names, and pray that He might bless us.